pornography, fame, fortune, or the approval of my friends, or trying to change myself just to fit in, you know, I know that trying to get that happiness I'm looking for, it's not in the people whose crew are my friends. You, you, you're going to have some good friends, but you're still going to feel empty. It's not about the stuff you can experience and just do stuff, and hopefully it's going to get you on a high, and maybe you can just get drunk from Friday to Sunday and forget about what happened from Monday to Friday night. It, it, you, you, you might have things in your life that you're trying to forget. You might have things that you wish you could change in your life that's attacking you or you on the inside. But you can't do anything on your own. You can try and break a habit on your own, but you can't. I, I, I know personally the harder I try to break a habit, the more I realize I, I'm hopeless in trying to stop some stuff in my life. For me, I needed God to help me. And it's God who changed me and molded me. And I want you to know that today, your life, no matter how good it is here on earth, man, this is nothing compared to what's in heaven. And if you're suffering today, and if you're suffering today, hear me very clearly. I nearly died. And just because I got through and I gave my life to Jesus, doesn't mean I'm always happy. I go through ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. <laughs> but in my process of saying, God, come into my life and help me, teach me from your word, help me to work out the situations in my life that I can work out, but give me the faith to trust you in the things I don't understand. Faith is what we need. Amen.